Hello, I'm Wilma. I am a hundred-year-old lady who has been a lot of people in those years. A daughter, a sister, a wife, a mother, a teacher, a grandmother, and now a great-grandmother of 42 great-grandchildren. When I recommend a college to any of the great-grandchildren, I can answer their question, why Central? I can proudly say, well, you see, it's a family thing. My husband was my best friend. We grew up in the same little community in Minnesota, I went to the same church. We went to separate country schools. When I graduated from high school, uh, my family had helped me prepare to go to a, a college, and uh, we picked Central. And so he stayed behind to be a senior, and I went to Central for my first year. Then the next year, he came to Central. But that was also the year that the war began, and he enlisted in the Navy and got involved in a Navy program. And so he only had the one year at Central. And Tony was in the service going to school in different places. And uh, the years went by and we married then in the fall. Then I went to visit him, spent some time with him before he went overseas. I fortunately, as, as we were planning, I got pregnant because his wish was that at least if he didn't come back, he would have a child. Uh, I worked at the store, I worked at home with my children and we had Don and then we, uh, we had five more children. And uh, so we were dealing with a family of six. We were there for 13 years and then God put the idea back into our heads that maybe we needed to go finish our college education. My name is Barb Hookstra Brondike, and I graduated from Central in 1978 with a teaching degree. My name's Jennifer Hookstra Scurry, and I was employed at Central College for 17 years. Uh, my name is Kelsey Boat, and I gr um, graduated from Central in 2012 with a teaching education and social science major. My name is Roger Hookstra. I graduated from Central in 1971. I went into middle school science teaching and did that for 33 years. Uh, I married a, my best friend, Ruth Van Ruckel, in 1970, and we had four lovely children that also came to Central. Well, I think it starts with, with Dad and Mom. They both attended. Dad first and graduated in 1961, was a high school government teacher. Um, we got to know what Central was about as far as coming on campus and coming to basketball, football events, travel logs, and just being in the community of Pella, Central was, was just tied to what Pella was all about. Why Central? Where else but here could we realize our dream of children and grandchildren getting such a quality education on the same campus as Dad and Mom and Grandpa and Grandma? We packed up the kids in a big U-Haul and moved to Pella, got a big house on Washington Street and Tony enrolled in the college and we started living in a big town as we called it. Tony was able to finish in two years and he student taught at Pella and then they decided to hire him. They said they could use an older teacher and they had a class that they would like him to teach. They let me start teaching first grade but I had to get the the extra credits and then I graduated again in 69. So I actually graduated twice from Central, which I thought was kind of a record, you know. Central for our family has, has meant a lot um, with my mom and dad showing all of us that it's never too late to get an education um, by coming back and finishing their degrees. Um, and because of the positive experiences that they had leading to their careers, it um, pretty much encouraged all of us to take a look at Central and what could Central do for us for our futures. My grandma had a pretty big impact on my decision to go into teaching. Um, there were just lots of years growing up sitting with her um, at her counter and um, having her go over assignments with me, writing, you know, doing a lot of my editing, reading with me, 
um, and just talking about her love um, for her students. That was a big thing that I can always remember. Um, she always talked about her students and um, it always amazed me that she still has connections to those students today. Hi. Hello. How are you? I am fine. <laughs> Good how, to see you. How are you? I'm doing great. And you, <laughs> you're looking just beautiful. I am. Oh, you are too. Well, you've grown a little though since, <laughs> since we sat this close. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, my first memories of, of uh, being in first grade were uh, just the, the 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 fun part of the room, you know, being in the corner, the rainbow corner, and uh, it was always a very welcome place. And she always made it that way. It was always a place she wanted to be, and she she made teaching fun. Uh, that's what I remember. And she encouraged us to read, and it wasn't that we were tasked to do things. So she wanted to, she wanted to make it fun, and it was fun. And so. I'm a lifelong reader, and I attribute that to Mrs. Hoopster for getting me started. So. I hope so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and also, probably Tony in high school, Mr. Hoopstra in high school, uh, was probably completed the circle when I was in high school mm -hmm. to, to encourage me to go to Central, too, because I probably was not the... I, I'll admit I probably wasn't the best student in high school. I, I just lacked a little focus, I think, in high school, and I think Mr. Hoopstra taught me that I needed to focus a little bit more. So Mrs. Hoopster started at the beginning and Mr. Hoopster started it, or ended it all to get me on my path to Central. No. When I think of, when I think of my grandmother, I think of a woman with many hats. She is, um, she does different things and means different things to so many different people. Um, and I think that is, is something that makes her so special and so unique and everybody has their own story. I think the life lessons that I've learned from from Mrs. Hooster are, first of all, again, lifelong learning, uh, listening, being kind to people, and that's how she's lived her life, uh, with kindness and compassion, and I think that's probably what I, uh, those are the, of the characteristics I like to emulate. The butterflies just, it just was such a special thing for her in her classroom with her kids, and uh, yeah, I mean, it just continued to go until she had this little idea in the middle of the night to write a book. This is a place of happiness and pride for mom. She's just always loved to be around Central in any way, shape, or form. All the, the legacy monies they've given, the honors that they've shared back to her, but she never, never shies away from feeling a part of what Central's all about. And it was that way for dad too. They both just loved coming to campus. People would, you know, thank them for being who they were and many of her little first grade students would come through and they end up going through Central and they'd come back to say, you know, thank you for whatever you said back when you had, when, when she had them in class. Well, I hope, my hope is that Central um, continues to educate kids, not only in the classroom for a career, but also for life lessons so that they can go out and do a world of good for other people. And I hope that uh, Central students and either, and also future students get to experience the central community um, like I can remember um, I think it's such a unique and incredible community of people um, you have great alumni who are supportive um, and loyal and um, just a group of people that truly want the best for you um, at central and so I hope that others get to experience that as well Beautiful and caring people gave memorials to the Journey Scholarship Fund in Tony's name after his passing. Why Central? People coming to Central each year know that alumni like Tony care about their futures. Just as Central helped Tony and me to reach our dreams, it is helping the young people of today plan and experience their college days where they can prepare for their futures. Why Central? So many people enriched our lives along our life's journey. Blessings that reached us into our old age. Old but not forgotten, what a blessing Central has been.